Our top story tonight, the arrest of Frank James, the man accused of an attack on a New York City subway station. After a 24 hour manhunt, he's now in custody, facing several federal terrorism charges and possible life in prison. WFXR's Kelsey John Baptiste spoke with a former Christiansburg resident who currently lives near the subway station in Brooklyn where those people were attacked. She joins us now live. Kelsey, good evening. Good evening to you, Kathleen. Earlier today, I spoke with Bob Bergeson, who moved to Brooklyn in 2007. He says yesterday after the shooting, he received so many text messages asking him if he was OK. Uh, this this was absolutely a very uh, shocking uh, circumstance. Bergeson says to get where he's going, he usually walks and occasionally he would pass the 36th Street station in Brooklyn. He describes that area as a typical Brooklyn neighborhood. But as you get up closer into uh, 36th uh, Street where where the uh, incident occurred, that's a much more commercial. Uh, uh, so it's busy. It's it's very busy. U.S. Attorney of the Eastern District of New York, Brian Peace, says that the suspect Frank James faces federal terrorism charges because he targeted a mass transit system. Retired professor of criminal justice and former police officer Todd Burke says that it's important to realize the type of citizen cooperation it took to capture James. Sometimes it just comes down to good old fashioned police work where you have the officer on the beat asking questions, interviewing witnesses. And also realizing that several agencies only had a short window of time before he could have escaped. You know, people can get around very quickly and get lost very quickly. So the longer the time period goes on, the greater the geographical boundary expands. And that includes, you know, not just foot transportation, but, you know, whether it be subway, auto, plane, train. Both Burke and Bergeson described the role mental health played into this situation because of allegations James took to social media before the shooting. We need to reset some of our priorities, right, on where we're spending our money and where we're putting our, our funding into uh, helping uh, our society be better and, and more um, uh, functional. And you have things such as a mass shooting, you, you always hear, oh, the person must have just snapped. Very rarely does that happen. Uh, what normally goes on is there's some planning involved and also some communication involved between the suspect or suspects and friends and family. Now, Bergeson says that he hasn't taken the subway since 2020 because of COVID, but his chances of getting on it now are slim to none. He says this incident has made him more nervous. In Blacksburg, Kelsey Jean-Baptiste, WFXR News.